So we are live on the mic, and the timer comes down. And here we are. So slide oh, there, in, slide right in. there. Oh, that way. Right, yeah, yeah, it sort of messes you up, right? The mirror yeah, image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Dan Bauer. Welcome to another episode of Breakfast with Disaster, where we go live uh, every Tuesday at 10, 10 a.m. to tell you all the worst things that can happen so you can avoid them. Uh, today, we're not talking about terrible things. We're talking about very cool things, uh, summary things, and things about the lake. Um, you may have joined us a couple weeks ago when we had Lynn Braun on to talk about the Lake Erie Seaway Trail and Redfish. We're here for another update. We've got Francine Geyer here. Francine's with the Lake Erie Seaway Trail Center. She's been with them since, what, 2012? Yeah, since 2012. Since 2012, uh, kind of leading the charge, in a way, over with Redfish. Is that fair to say? Yeah, yeah. Project um, managing the Redfish Project. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's remind everybody what Redfish is. I've got a picture. Well, I've got a picture of the Seaway Trail. Oh, What's great. the Seaway Trail? Okay, yeah, so the Seaway... Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. I'm yeah. happy to be here. we got some people jumping on. Jackie, oh, you Lisa, do? Diane, Hi. Betty. Oh, this is people nice. People hopping on. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, what's um, the Seaway Trail? So I'm with the Seaway Trail. Uh, the Seaway Trail, it's... Dan, the great picture you have there, but it's 518 miles of highway that extends from the top of New York State to St. Lawrence all the way down into Pennsylvania. And the reason why they call it the Great Lakes Seaway Trail is because um, it's always, when you're driving that 500 stretch of, 518 stretch of highway, you're typically on some sort of a waterway or at least close proximity to, and it kind of focuses just on the water that New York State sits on holistically. Um, so we, the, the, the Lake Erie Seaway Trail, we have a small little blip on there because we're in, the, we're in Hamburg, right? So we're the town of Hamburg blip of it. So the center that, um, that Dan speaks of, the Lake Erie Seaway Trail Center, is located on that stretch. And, and you're right across um, from like the Frontier Administrative yeah, Offices, right? Yeah. We used to be called the Wanaka Waterworks, and um, it closed because I think Erie County picked up the water service in the area. Um, but at one time, it did service water for the Wanaka residents. So when it abandoned, the town of Hamburg um, took over the building. And then Kathy Hochul, who was a very you know, uh, she was on the board of directors in the town at the time during her political career. She wanted to turn that into a visitor center. So her, it was her baby project at the time when she was um, in, you know, a local Hamburg politician. And um, she also, as you all know, lives in the Buffalo area. I don't, I think she lives in Orchard Park or well, Hamburg. Don't, don't give out her address. Very but um, so she, she, this was her project to open up a center that, um, a visitor center, right? One that educates the public, one where visitors could come in and find local information about places to go, things to see, things to do. Um, she secured a big, huge grant and put a ton of money into the center to make it a visitor, aesthetically pleasing place to visit. And um, then she took off for bigger and better things. And so her, her center survives under our, our team and our leadership, the Friends of the Seaway Trail Center. Yeah. Well, I think and we're trying are... to revive it, kind yeah. of like revitalize yeah, you're it. You're doing more than, more than surviving. You're doing cool things. Yeah, we're so doing some awesome stuff. That specifically coming down the pipeline and one of the things that we're talking about, because Surf Pro's a major sponsor of this, is Redfish, which you guys may remember from a couple of weeks ago. It's going to be Western New York's newest piece of public art. Um, it's currently, I think it's already painted. This is an outdated picture. Yeah, that's up. That's red now. And it's coming later this summer. It's going to be beautiful right there in the lake um, to bring awareness actually to the issue of plastic pollution, which mm -hmm. most people think of that in the ocean. And that's not, unfortunately, not restricted to the ocean. It's, it's a big problem here, especially microplastics, which unfortunately end up in our water supply. So the Seaway Trail Center is getting involved with fighting that problem. And this is yes. one way to do it. Absolutely. And re yes, Redfish is going to represent um, the love, red, love, admiration, but also love represents hate, right? Because you love the nature and the environment and you love redfish, but you also hate the plastics that are ruining its environment in a way. So it's going to be a nice little kiosk that you can read and educate yourself on plastic pollution. It'll be fun for kids. It'll, it's an interactive display, so it'll be very complimentary to redfish itself but also as you can see dan's got go ahead dan yeah we've got a this is sort of that was a very like it's a very emotional thing like the red this is more of a chill vibe these chairs what's the deal with these chairs yeah so that actually those picture that picture is from the seaway trail center a few years ago we used um some of our uh budget money to purchase some adirondack chairs because as you all know from western new york 
Lake Erie boasts some of the finest sunsets in the world, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we put these chairs out so that our visitors can enjoy the sunsets there. And um, then we, we kind of caught wind of a project that the village of Hamburg was, um, that they launched, where they were, if you drive to the village of Hamburg, you'll start seeing these Adirondack chairs just sporadically located throughout mm -hmm. the village. Have you seen them, Dan? I have seen them. They're pretty cool. Yeah. They, they really set off like a... A communal vibe in some way because they're colorful they're fun they're um consistently throughout the whole village so mm -hmm. you know there's you can sense the pattern yeah so we at the seaway trail center also being a town of hamburg right we're not village but we're the town we want to extend it out to the lakeshore area as well so that's where we're thinking this is a great tie-in to redfish right because mm. redfish is all about bringing art and beauty really to the corridor of Hamburg, mm -hmm. right? As some of you know, by driving down that section, there are some, you know, there is some exciting things going on at Hoax where they put that new break wall up. It's beautiful. They're looking for years, they've been fighting to get the bike path mm -hmm. to extend beyond the Buffalo Harbor all the way down for, I don't know what the end goal is, but right. you can see it's starting to expand even the bike trail. So us being along that, um, we want to beautify the whole Hamburg corridor also with Adirondack mm -hmm. chairs, well, similarly. Let's, let's put a finer point on this. This is Go a sponsorship ahead. opportunity, right? Yeah. This is a way for people to, A, sponsor and get involved with Redfish, either as individuals or as business owners, community members, you know, however you want to spell your name on that plaque, you know, that's however you want to get involved. But it's also a way for you to have your own chair kind of on the lake. Yeah, is that correct? Right. Your own personal chair so, will sit on the lake. So you sponsor one of these chairs. That sponsorship money goes towards the Seaway Trail Center, and a major part that goes towards making redfish a reality and, and bringing awareness to the problem of plastic in the lake. But you get one of these beautiful chairs. It has a plaque with your name on it. You can go sit there anytime. Bring a... I, I sh probably shouldn't say bring a six-pack. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's breaking some law, <laughs> but I won't tell anyone. Bring, you know, bring a picnic lunch. Bring your friends. Yeah. And sit and see, watch the sunset. You have your own place to sit with your name on it to enjoy the lake which you know right. i don't know that enough people really appreciate um the fact that we have a great lake in our backyard yeah and it's a chance awareness. for you to, to do that and, yeah. and be a part of the community and support something really 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 awesome at the same time yeah um and i know we have a lot of people on here that are um, maybe they live in the village, maybe they own businesses in the village, not calling anyone else specifically. This is a really cool opportunity to kind of get your name out there and support something cool. Yep. Um, so you, you get a, you get the chair. Yeah. And you even, get a plaque. Yep. And even the plaque doesn't necessarily have to represent your business, right? I, we've, we've learned from our friends in the village from their projects. So it's kind of nice. We get to follow their lead. Mm -hmm. You know, we asked them if we could copy off of them and they absolutely said thumbs up and they're actually helping and supporting this project with us. Um, but they advised us that some of their donations were just um, plaques that just said in memory of, oh, you know, my idea. mom or memory of my pet, whatever you, whatever you want to say on your plaque that will be engraved and put right mm -hmm. onto the chair itself. And um, the, it's a small cost. Yeah, so let's get that. We'll get down to the nitty gritty. I love that though with a pet. Like if you yeah, have a pet who right. loves you the would, lake, yeah. yeah. You, you and your pet I, love your yeah. love of pets. I could see that would touch your um, heart. That's very right. sweet. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we, I've got the cost here. It is, and correct me if I'm wrong. It's 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 two hundred and seventy dollars, yep. and that includes you get the chair uh, that yeah, comes with the plaque, mm -hmm. and it comes with a don donation as well to the. See what you're. Let's all package into that two seventy. It's all packaged, packaged in because we have to pay to have it chipped. We have to pay for the chair itself, um, the plaque. We have to pay for the plaque, and then we just added a twenty five dollar donation to the full cost of that because we feel that your donation will go into our bank where we will continue to beautify this the lake shore mm -hmm. either with another piece of art similar to redfish, or in some way just to continue the beautiful beautification of the Seaway Trail. Yeah. And so, can people buy multiples if they want multiple chairs? Yes, they can have as okay. many as they want. And the placement of the chair, um, if if you're a business owner on the Seaway Trail, perhaps you want your chair to be placed in front of your business and you can maintain it and take care of it yourself in and out. If you, ha if you need, um, if you don't have that ability or don't want it in your own place, we will place it either along the Hamburg Beach area. As you know, there's a, a Hamburg Beach is also located not far from our center, but also on the trail that has a bunch of grass area that we would um, locate your chair at, 
or along the whole corridor, there's all kinds of grass area that aren't necessarily a part of our center, but the town of Hamburg would be open to placing the chairs there for us. We will also keep them secure. Even those that are located on our property, as you can see in Dan's picture, mm -hmm. those are secured down with um, chains. Not that, you know, there has been some issues of vandalization along, you know, at the center, but they are secured. We put them in the building in the winter time to keep them, you know, for the summer. So we would take care of the maintenance of them and the placement of them if you don't want to place them in front of your own business. Now, those of you familiar with the Woodlawn Beach area, mm -hmm. the um, businesses throughout, you know, on the way into the city before you get to the Lackawanna, um, a lot of those businesses were, were hoping to tap into them because they, Woodlawn, really is looking for some beautification in their end as well. We feel that they're going to really be able to capitalize on right. this as well. Cool. So I know we usually talk about disasters okay. here and we talk about, I mean, there's plenty of rain right now, right? It's very gloomy. It's flooding, whatever. This is something we feel really strongly about, not just because it's it's nice to look a picture of the sun being out when it's pouring down rain, but because then, you know, the plastics problem is kind of a disaster. And this is a really fun, really simple, really easy way to get involved and have that involvement, you'll be kind of immortalized, yep. you know, um, you. and you get a place to sit, to boot, so it's kind yep. of a win-win for everyone. Yep. So what it, if somebody wants to do this, if they want to buy a chair, they want to get more information, how do they do it? Yes, yeah, so I, I have a flyer created, and then Dan has it, so we can, you could either send it I to can them put directly, it right, in the comments, yeah. right where you do, or um, I also included in the flyer our email address, so you can email me, and I can send you the flyer directly, and we can negotiate through, you know, the you know, your desires mm -hmm. in that way. I have an application that I can send you that basically says, you know, who are you? How many chairs you want? Do you have a specific color preference? Where do you want it placed? If we can get it there placed for you. Um, and then what do you want to say on the plaque? Yeah. So that's, I would, I would send you the application only upon your, your outreach to me for yeah. your interest. So we'll put info on that in the comments and in the email that follows us as well. Francine is... And you have to draw away. the prize. You have to come back in. Oh, oh, so that's fine. Um, what do you do? What uh, happens? Well, well, let me let me finish. Oh, go. Ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will put the info for the uh, to contact her to get an application in the comments. I'll put in the email that goes out after this. You fill out an application, you will get your chair. It's it's pretty simple. So uh, I will make that as easy as possible for you guys because I think this is a cool cause. Um, but yeah, the prize. The prize is the biggest Ooh, deal. What do you do? What do they get? So everybody. Uh, pretty much everybody on this call is part of the Surf Pro Mug Club. Oh, they've cool. got a coffee mug. I don't have oh one near God. me. That's so and they've fun. got a number on the bottom. They get entered in a drawing. If they're watching and their number gets called, they get a double prize. So if you're watching and you have not said hello, you've not said, I love the lake, I hate the lake, I love plastic, whatever you want to say, doesn't matter. I, you need to comment so that I know that you're here and you can get your double prize. So I'll give you a second to do that. And we'll see just who's here. We'll say good morning to everyone. Uh, Daryl Terranova. Um, is going to beat somebody up in his chair. Nicole. Oh, Terranova. We have our insurance with them. Oh, yep. shout out to Terranova. Yay, Terranova. Thanks for all that you do. You buy great to us. I'm kind of a pain in the, in the arse every year when I go to you and you have to have my proof of insurance. So oh. thank you for all that. Uh, so all the other insurance agents on here, you don't want Francine. Oh, I'm She's sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't, you don't want me. Be glad you don't have uh, me. But Kristen, Lisa, Kathy, Nicole, Kathy, Hallie, Melissa, Jackie, Lisa, Diane, Betty. Hi, everybody. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Hi, everybody. It's time to draw the prize. So here's the wheel. How do you know who? Oh, you all there see. we go. You ready? This is super cool. Then what do you do? Well, you got to tell me the number. Who you got? 516. Yay! 516. Next, Cheryl George from WH Green. Cheryl, if you are on, make sure you comment so you can get your double prize. Um, and if you're not, you miss an opportunity. <laughs> what um, kind of prize does she get? Or don't um, you know? What do you think? Do you think, um, Cheryl, do you, do you think she wants lunch? Do think she oh. wants a gift card? Do you think she wants a Surf Pro backpack? Nice. So if it's a surprise. It's a surprise. Cool. Um, Congratulations. We'll is she uh, on the call? Is Cheryl, are you here? I don't think she's here. Uh, but I agree with Kevin. I also love the lake. Um, I, Cheryl, I will give you a call. We'll sort this out. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Um, I will put the info for the chairs in the chat, um, and I will send it out via email as well. Don't miss out. Um, I am assume, I don't know if there's like a limit on this, but I think it's going to be popular. Um, I think it's pretty cool. We'll definitely be sponsoring. So I'll see you guys on the lake, and I will see you next week at 10, 10 a.m. for our next episode. See you, everybody.